Hi, I'm Paul Beasley and I'm a local Blue Badge tour guide here in the Liverpool City region and I also chair the Association of Liverpool Tour Guides. Just over 100 members in the association and our guides uh, work dealing with all sorts of groups that are coming into the Liverpool City region uh, for coach tours, for walking tours, business groups, leisure groups. You may have seen uh, our badge around. This is the, uh, the badge, the blue badge. Some guides have a green badge uh, and there are reaper guides as well. Uh, so that's what we do. We're part of the visitor industry locally, looking after visitors while they're here. The current situation has really been completely devastating for tour guides. Obviously, there are no visitors coming to, to the city. We started to get the first indication of potential problems about two months ago now, in early February, uh, when we started to get cancellations, because we have many of our clients coming in from the Far East, uh, and they start to cancel fairly early on in the, uh, the whole process and also this time of year we would expect to see lots of European school groups here from from France from Germany from Spain and obviously they started to cancel too so uh, the industry has really really been very badly hit there are no guides working uh, obviously at all at the moment uh, and we are just very hopeful that that, that business will start to, to come back but uh, we are keeping guides busy uh, and uh, guides are spending their time just uh, researching, getting ready for when the business starts to come back. And also, and you may want to listen to this, uh, we're also keeping guides in the, in the profile as well because uh, I, at the moment, am hosting the, uh, the late night show on BBC Radio Merseyside every Monday night. And just after 11 o'clock, we have a different blue or green badge guide on talking about a particular part of the Liverpool city region. So far, we've covered the Royal Institution in the city centre. We've covered the Albert Dock. Uh, and we've also covered Duke Street, and that will extend to other locations around the city region as time goes on. So uh, if you want to listen in and hear what a guide is all about and, and how they work, uh, listen in on a Monday night, BBC Radio Merseyside to The Late Show just after 11 o'clock. I've been talking about cancellations, saying that uh, our cancellations started to, to come in around about two months ago. But there are some green shoots as well. There is a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel because not all of our clients uh, have cancelled. Many of them have postponed and they've simply said that we will rearrange these dates once people are able to travel. Obviously, guides are keeping very much in touch with their clients, both individuals and the companies as well. And we are starting to see uh, those green green shoots with people looking to uh, look at dates in the future rather than uh, just cancel them all together. I mentioned earlier that we do deal a lot with uh, people in the Far East and obviously the way that the wave of the pandemic has spread, it did start in the Far East. So we're already hearing on the news about uh, China and surrounding countries maybe starting to just relax their restrictions a little bit. So uh, it, it would stand to reason that that is the part of the world that is going to recover sooner. And hopefully, as soon as we are ready to receive clients again uh, into the United Kingdom, that those parts of the world will start to travel. But there are green shoots. It's not all bad news. Uh, things are looking hopeful for the future. The thing is, we do need to get ready uh, for recovering in the future because the business will come back again and we often hear from clients who have taken their business to other parts of the country and indeed other parts of the world and they often refer to the way that uh, the Liverpool city region and people within the Liverpool city region actually work we often refer to it as team Liverpool uh, where organizations visitor attractions hotels restaurants who on the face of it are competitors actually all work together and we've seen this spirit of Team Liverpool operating on so many occasions to get uh, business to come into the, uh, the city region. And I feel that, uh, that the whole concept of the way that we do work together, the Team Liverpool approach, will be, be, be the thing that brings uh, Liverpool and the Liverpool city region back onto its feet in terms of visitor industry as well. Uh, I have shared some, uh, some 
my ideas already with James Wood. I know that James and the team at Marketing Liverpool are working hard uh, in developing a strategy to, uh, to, to really get us back in the forefront once this is all over. And I'm sure that James and his colleagues would welcome any ideas that anybody else has got as to how uh, we can go forward in the future and get the business back on its feet. And I think, genuinely think, that whole collaborative approach, which we're so good at doing and we're so proud of, I think that will be the key to the Liverpool City region redeveloping and regrowing uh, its visitor business in the future. You know what, just to, 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 to finish off, uh, things are very bad at the moment. All we hear on the news is, a, is, is a bad news stories. But you know what, this city, this city region, has really grown over the last 35 years. If we look back to the days of the 1970s and we saw images of the Albert Dock drained of water, all the windows broken, and we look at the, the way that the city region, the dock, all outlying areas have developed in terms of tourism, I have every confidence that once this pandemic is over, once people start to travel both within the UK and from overseas as well, that we as a city region, we as Team Liverpool will be ready to welcome those visitors back. Uh, let's all pull together and in a year's time, let's see ourselves back where we were before and even better than before as well. So this is Paul Beasley saying goodbye. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home, as the governments are telling us to do. We here in Liverpool, the Liverpool City region, sometimes are not that good at taking instructions. We do need to take the instructions. Let's stay at home. Let's stay out of contact with other people, because the sooner we can do that, the sooner life can return to normal and we'll have full coaches of people visiting. We'll have full hotels. Our restaurants will be full and the visitor attractions will be busy as well. And we'll see those cruise ships coming back in. So let's all pull together and just stay at home, stay well, stay healthy and stay as Team Liverpool.